All right, we have uh, breaking news on the indictment of former President Donald Trump. Uh, the indictment has been unsealed in a court in Miami, and we now know that there are 37 counts um, across uh, the indictment, including conspiracy, uh, charge of obstruction, false statement charges, and of course, the willful retention of national security uh, documents. So uh, with that, let's get back to Kaylee Lyons. She's in Washington, D.C. She's been uh, spending the last couple of minutes briefly reading through mm -hmm. this indictment. Kaylee, uh, what do we know? I mean, a lot of this you could have foreseen. Yeah, a lot of this was uh, alluded to by pre the president's attorneys over the last 24 hours and from reporting done by Bloomberg and other networks as to what exactly this indictment entails. But we now do have the breakdown on a count-by-count -count basis. Counts 1 through 31 here, willful retention of national defense information. And this indictment actually does break down each document between top secret, secret uh, designation. There are 31 counts there. Count 32, conspiracy to obstruct justice. The 33rd count is withholding a document or record. Also, 30, count 34, corruptly concealing a document or record. Count 35, concealing a document in a federal investigation. 36, scheme to conceal and 37 and 38 false statements and representations. So again, up nearly 40 counts here, uh, seven charges in total, including the retention of these documents. And this indictment goes in detail uh, into the investigation, talking about how the documents that the president, uh, former president had stored at Mar-a-Lago in boxes included information regarding defense capabilities of both the U.S. and foreign countries, including nuclear programs and military vulnerabilities, unauthorized disclosure of which could put national security at risk. They also say that he showed classified documents uh, to others on two occasions in 2021 and goes on to say after the investigation was opened, Trump endeavored to obstruct both the FBI and grand jury investigation and conceal his continued retention of classified documents. So that would be where the obstruction account comes in. Again, guys, these are federal crimes that the former president has been charged with and will wait for his appearance in Miami at the federal courthouse come Tuesday. So we, and a we see also, also indicted. Sorry, let, let me just say that we see a uh, headline coming out of the White House. President Biden says he hasn't spoken to Merrick Garland about uh, Donald Trump, and he is not going to. What do we know, Kaylee, about the way the White House has dealt with the DOJ and the special prosecutor? Well, according to President Biden, they have given no direction to the, the DOJ. And, of course, the president earlier today said he had no comment on President Trump's indictment. I think this is a White House that wants to avoid the appearance of this being political as former President Trump in that video he posted to True Social last night said that this was a corrupt Biden administration and that this was election interference at the highest level, a continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all time. So the former president, President Trump, is trying to cast this as something that is politically charged and that likely is something that the White House is trying to stay far away from.